So I know I said I stopped playing Destiny a while ago, then the April update came out and I picked the game up again, and then it started to feel like my eyes were becoming more and more open. Now, the big thing in the Destiny community right now, I'm not saying that me, myself, a part of the Destiny community, I don't really consider myself a part of the Destiny community anymore. I play the game extremely casually now. Like, I'm still pretty good. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm the best player in the world or anything like that. That's not where I'm going. That is not where I'm going. But I know how casual games roll. Now, after playing Destiny here and there every once in a while, maybe like twice a week, and also playing Overwatch, just came out a couple days ago, and also the beta, you know, that was about a little bit less than a month ago. And, you know, from me playing a lot of Call of Duty, I can tell the difference between all three of the different types of matchmaking. So. Let's break this down, let's get this straight. Because all three games, very, very different. But at the same time, they all have similarities. Let's bring out the similarities and let's also bring out those differences. So, Overwatch, let's start with this game. Brand new game, you know. Obviously, this game has a very, very, very competitive setting. I don't say background because there is no background for the game yet. It's not competitive just yet. But the game already has the framework to be a competitive game. Why do I say that? Very, very, very good character balance. Very good map balance. And also, this game comes with private meshes. Okay? Very good characteristics of a competitive game. A potentially competitive game. I'm pretty sure this game is going to be competitive because they're also coming out with a ranked playlist in like June or July. So, that's Overwatch. Let's go on to Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Competitive game. We all know this. But, what was it initially? A casual game. Call of Duty was a casual game. 100%. But, Call of Duty, what do they have? Pretty good maps. Pretty good weapon balance. I'm not saying it's perfect, especially, you know, you got the variances in the different titles. Let's be real, there's like 11 Call of Duties at this point. And they also have private matches and they have competitive support. Mostly originally built from the players themselves and the Call of Duty community. They're the ones who kind of built up this competitiveness of Call of Duty. Eventually, Activision, Treyarch, Infinity War, blah, 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 they all started to notice. And they're like, oh my God, we have something here. Let's do this and take it seriously and bring competitiveness to everybody. So then what they do, they came out with ranked playlists that made private matches better. They supported the competitive scene. The hot topic of the day. Let's look at Destiny. Let's look at Destiny and let's inspect it for what it actually is and what they're trying to market this game as. Destiny is a casual game, 100%. How do we know it's a casual game? Well, one, since launch over a year and a half ago, like, what, what is this, going on two years? Yeah, this is definitely going on two years. Still, no private matches in sight. No competitive support in sight. What else do I, no rank play. Like, there's no rank playlist. The closest thing to ranked we have is Trials of Osiris, but that's not even ranked. That's still randomly, and it's not even randomly match-based. It's skill-based matchmaking. The whole thing through and through, the Crucible. Skill-based matchmaking. So, if this game is casual, why is there this heavy amount of skill-based matchmaking in Destiny? If we are playing a game that is casual, why is there such a big focus on skill-based matchmaking, prioritizing skill over connection? It's not region-based anymore. It's like, what is, what is going on? Like, what is Bungie thinking? They're marketing this game as casual, but they're penalizing the players that took the game seriously at first, they try to get better, you know, they try to, you know, hone their skills at the game just so, you know, they could do good in the Crucible. And now all of the good players are being penalized and all the people that were bad either initially or, you know, they're just starting off. It kind of feels like they're getting handed a silver platter. And I'm not saying this, you know, I'm not saying, you know, oh, you know, skill-based matchmaking is terrible. You know, we should all be matched up with noobs all the time so we can destroy these kids. That is not what I'm saying at all. It's not. But let's look at Call of Duty, bro. COD is region-based, connection-based matchmaking. Black Ops 3, honestly, is like one of the greatest examples right now because their mix of dedicated servers and hosts or whatever the heck they do, the connection in Black Ops 3 is always solid. The other day, I was playing on a two-bar. I didn't notice I was playing on a two-bar until somebody actually pointed it out to me. For me to feel like, you know, okay, something is a little bit off, not a lot, but just a little bit, and me to barely notice it until somebody pointed it out to me, good job. Good job, Treyarch. That, like, really surprised me. I was like, wow, 
this game might actually be built a little bit better than what I thought it was. And, you know, I was I was really surprised. I was like, Destiny, dude, you're not playing on a good connection. You feel it through and through. Partially because the game is 30 frames per second. So when there's lag, it not only lags the frames of the game because there's so few to work with, it also lags your connection and you feel it immediately. But it's just like, what's being prioritized? When you go into a game of Crucible, whether it be Rumble or Control or Clash or whatever, Iron Banner, Trials, what is it? Is it region based? Matching you up with people, you know, within like a three, four, five hundred mile radius of you? Or is it skill based? Matching you up with people from who knows how far away across your country or possibly even across the ocean, across the sea, across the world? Bruh, you never know because they don't care. Why is a game that has absolutely no competitive support from the developer or the publisher being treated? like a competitive shooter. This game is not a competitive shooter. Bungie has said that like through and through. Look, you know, we want the casuals to feel this way. We look casuals, the casuals, the casuals, the average player, the player that just bought the game. Dude, this game is two years old. What do you mean? The player that just brought the game. I understand you made this one game, this one game, mind you, that they keep trying to sell over and over and over again. And don't get me wrong. I know Activision definitely has a hand in it. That is apparent. Like, I'm sorry. That's the, that's apparent. Everybody knows that. How, why is this a thing? Why is this skill-based matchmaking? Like, why, does it really have to go on this long? This is the other thing. Every time there's an issue in Destiny, they act like it's this huge thing they have to go over. And, like, firebolt grenades have been a problem since launch. Since the game came out. Not only, like, are they game-breaking, like, they're, okay, okay, I don't want to say game-breaking, they're not game-breaking, but they're pretty OP, like, if you're a hunter, you have mid to low armor, you get touched with an auto rifle, just one shot, and then you get hit with a firebolt grenade, with viking funeral, dude, it, it's, it's a done deal, it's a done deal, you're just gonna die, you're just gonna burn away because you tick, what, like, 11 times, 10 times, something like that, something crazy, 14 times, it feels like, it's just like, you're just burning and burning and burning and guarding it down. Like, and what did Bungie say? We don't know what to do. So we left it. Nigga, what? What do you mean? What did you do when freaking the Night Stalker arrow glitch was going on? What did they do? They took Quiver out of the game until they fixed it. So, if you don't know how to touch Viking Funeral, why don't you remove Viking Funeral from the game? until you figure out how to fix it. I'm, I'm totally going off topic right now. I'm totally going off topic right now. But I mean, like that's just, that's what I'm saying. It's the little things that these people come up with and they're just like, uh, you know what? I, I don't know. I have no idea. And it, it just it just blows my mind. Skill-based matchmaking, something that can literally be turned off. Like, okay, I know I'm not an engineer at Bungie. I didn't design the game. But I mean, there's, oh, we're tweaking matchmaking. Who asked you to tweak matchmaking? Like. And who asked you to turn skill-based matchmaking on? Like, that's what I'm wondering. Who said that there was a problem with the matchmaking? We said there's a problem with the connection, not matchmaking. I don't recall anybody in the Destiny community. Miss 5000 Watts, Sir Demetrius, True Vanguard, M-Tash, Datto. I don't recall anybody ever saying there was something wrong with matchmaking. So what in their head made them want to mess with it? I have absolutely no idea. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I'm just kind of ranting, I guess. I wish this game, when it came out, had a little bit of competitive support or at least private matches. Like if it had private matches, we we clearly have figured out a way how to arrange our own tournaments for Destiny. It's very hard to do. And I've seen people, you know, go through the struggles of doing it. And I watch the tournaments on Twitch and stuff like that. And I've seen how hard it is. But these people are so determined that they figure out a way how to manipulate the matchmaking to match them up with each other to play in a tournament. So it's like, well, how come something as simple as a private match cannot be arranged two years into the game? Why is skill-based match making a thing in a game that is not competitive at all? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? If you know, please, please leave me a detailed description in the comments. I am wondering. I am very, very curious. I don't know what's going on up at Bungie. I'm just wondering why games like this happen where they call it skill-based matchmaking, but it's like I'm getting all the scrubs barely winning the game. And it's like the other team, you got four out of six people going positive or even, and then on my team, you got two people go even or positive, and the rest are going negative. Okay, they had a pretty decent amount of caps. I get it. But just, I don't, I don't understand. I really don't.